boys and girls and welcome back to my channel in this video I will give you some practical advice that you could use right away in order to find one or many of your passions I will also give you some free resources that you could use in Canada to do that before we get started I wanted to say how proud I am of you for taking the time and watching the self-development video and actually thinking about finding and following your true passion so kudos to you make sure you like this video and get excited we're gonna start right now if you haven't met yet my name is Sepi and I'm the founder of Helix Academy in Toronto I'm here to share with you some of the best research and practical advice that I've learned throughout my career to share with you to become limitless inside and outside of school so make sure you subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos from me do not underestimate the power of your community. The older you get, you wanna make sure your community knows and trusts you, and they would do business with you, and they would refer you to other people. How do we get involved in a community? There are two ways to do that. Number one is to volunteer, and I'll show you how to do that on my laptop. So for example, if you are from Toronto, you're going to be searching for volunteering opportunities in Toronto and then you're gonna skip the ads and this is usually the most reliable source that you can count on so you're just gonna open that and you're just gonna scroll down to the category that you're looking for so let's say if you're doing the COVID-19 response or you're looking for something in education um, social services senior and long-term care whatever you're looking for um, you're just going to click on and then you're just going to leave everything else blank because you're not really deciding maybe just the city and that's it and then you're just going to go search and then here you see a list of volunteering opportunities that you could actually click on let's say if you're going for the co-op students and then we can just definitely see where is this listed from and then you can just go ahead and click on the email and apply accordingly or just send them an email with your resume and apply for the position and that's pretty much how you would look for a volunteering opportunity in your city in Canada all right in addition to volunteering you want to make sure you get to know your community your neighbors and small business owners in the community and you want to make sure that you make a positive impression on all of them by following three rules number one always be positive number two treat everybody kindly number three never talk behind anybody's back and some people would tell me, Seppi, you know what, I'm so shy and I'm not able to have conversations with people. You are not shy. Trust me, nobody is as shy as I was when I came to Canada. You get over it. It just takes practice on a daily basis in order to overcome that shyness of yours. It's not something you're born and stuck with. It's something you could improve on and with practice makes perfect. Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, and so many other successful people read books on a weekly basis. Why? Because books introduce you to new thoughts and ideas beyond yourself, beyond what you thought it ever existed. It will shape your thoughts and ideas beyond what you know and the world around you, and it will guide you towards finding what interests you and learning more about what you're passionate about but we have to make sure we pick the right books that are right for us how do we do that i want you to grab a pen and paper seriously pause the video grab a pen and paper right now okay now that you have your pen and paper i want you to write down a list of things that interest you it could be astronomy soccer money education whatever it is write it down then I'm gonna show you on my laptop how to actually find books that are related to your topic let's say you're interested in astronomy type in Google books related to astronomy then go through the bestsellers list on Google Books or Amazon listen or read the sample of it before deciding if you like the book or not and then go ahead and purchase it you can actually find 
free ebooks at your local library and all you need is a library card. You can purchase that online or you can go to your physical library location and get one. Once you sign up for it online, you can see a list of all the ebooks that are available to you and you can look through your topic and pick the one that is right for you. Okay, listen, this is so important. Not getting a job before you start your career is literally just like getting married without dating. It's crazy. It's just jumping in blind, right? This 50-50. You might like it, you might not like it. And I'm not going to take those chances with my life, right? Finding a job is not just about learning professionalism, time management, and responsibility. It's so much beyond that. Unfortunately, a lot of parents these days want to be supportive and create the best environment for their kids, which is amazing. But what happens is that a lot of kids don't get to experiment and don't get to know exactly what they like. A lot of people and students have straight A's and they go to best colleges, they have the high paying jobs and they go on with their lives and all of a sudden, five years into their career, they realize they don't really love what they do. They're stuck in an OR they don't like, they're uh, behind a desk doing taxes and they don't find it interesting. So in order to avoid that and in order to make sure you find your true passion in life, make sure you try different jobs before you jump into a career. I'm going to show you how to locate jobs on my laptop right now. Let's go. So one of the fastest ways to find the most current jobs in your city is to Google Google Jobs or you can do Google Student Jobs in and then you type in your city and then you'll get a whole list of jobs that are available for students. There's not a lot of them usually because most jobs require some kind of an experience. So you just want to go through what you have available here. And um, usually they have a lot of intern positions that you can go for. So you can look for that and then follow um, the steps to do the application. You could also use Indeed. So you could look for, let's say if you're looking for sales, like a sales associate which would be appropriate for students and then you can do search and you can go through all of these um, sales associate positions and maybe just find a job at Adidas, Pet Value, Urban Barn and all of these stores that you could actually work in. You could actually go to Special Olympics Ontario and then you can go to careers section. You can actually go through all the job opportunities for athletes and regular people that are not athletes. Also, there is a link at specialolympicsontario.com slash careers slash youth jobs. So this would be suitable for all different kinds of people and they have opportunities for every single person, no matter what background or what kind of uh, disability and intellectual disabilities that they might have. Okay, at this point, you know how to find a job and you also know how important it is. What I'm curious to know, do your parents allow you to have jobs? If yes, let me know in the comments and if no, also let me know and tell me why. I'm really, really curious to know. You need a physically strong and healthy brain in order to be able to do anything in life. Your mood, your motivation, everything that you feel on a daily basis is directly related to what you eat and it directly affects your brain. And I'm gonna actually elaborate on that in a second. There's a part of your brain called the hypothalamus which controls the release of hormones. And hormones are responsible for your mood, motivation, emotions, stress, and so much more. Your brain is connected to the lining in your stomach called the ENS, which stands for Entric Nervous System through the vagus nerve. There has been so many research done in different universities around the world, such as UCLA, John Hopkins, Sapienza, and so many other places, that they all confirm the direct connection between our guts and our brain. 
therefore what you eat is what you are so if you make sure you have a healthy digestive system and you eat healthy you eat the bright brain food for yourself you will be energetic you will feel motivated and you will be excited to take on the world i am the real proof of this when i lost 40 pounds i became more energetic i became healthier and i was just more excited about life so this is why i'm the biggest advocate of this i've linked a free guide in the description below for you to download it's free there's no strings attached it will help you to track and clean up your diet start exercising and as a bonus I've included a few of my books that I recommend to all of my students to read make sure you download it and let me know what you think other than that thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel for more weekly videos from me I really appreciate you being on my channel and supporting my new channel it means the world to me love you take care